Wait, where did you get prescription lenses put in those glasses? I didn't. I can't see shit. But uh, I've been to these thrift stores so many times and it's just muscle memory at this point. <laughs> Welcome to Thriftmas, day nine. Add to God. I think Mrs. Claus has sent on something. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Ball. It's just a ball. Red ball. Why? Bully. But why? I decoration. Found it on Wish. No, no, not this month. Alex. Three dollars? Why is that three dollars? Alex, you're my best friend. Friend. BF is snap. <laughs> oh look! Is this a Horcrux? Is this a Christmas Horcrux? Wouldn't be a thrift trip without some biltongs. You know, I can't believe how many people asked me in the comments the other day, what is biltong? Like, I literally thought everyone knew what biltong was. I suppose it's just like a byproduct of me growing up with a bunch of South African best friends. <laughs> this is biltong. This is it. It's like, uh, I guess I would equate it to South African beef jerky, but Far yeah, superior, far, far, far superior. It's a bit wet for my life. Well, the way you have it, it's a bit wet. Oh my god. Oh, if I could live on this, I'd be a very happy lady. Hey, Sam. Hey, Do Alex. you feel like a burger All for lunch? Way. Sam, this is the most Australian thing I've ever seen. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, like mother, like daughter, I just ran into my mum in that shop. It was so cute. She was picking up a bunch of cat accessories. Well, since we saw the burger sign, Sam is craving. Hungry. He's hungry for Jack. So we're going to go get Jack. All right, my friends, welcome to Burger King. But Australian. Yeah. Oh, by the way, anyone that doesn't know, look over there in the distance. You see it says Chicken Big Jack? Do you see that? Chicken Big Jack? So they're going through a lawsuit right now with Maccas. Hi, could I get a Super Stunner with Fanta and switch the um, Cornetto for a chocolate sundae, please? Yeah, so um, 
they are being sued right now by Maccas because obviously Maccas has the Big Mac and these guys are now doing the Big Jack. They're two different people. Yeah. If someone... Mac and Jack Mac are two and different Jack. people. That's entirely different. Thank you. Thank you. When did Hungry Jerks have such good chips? Growing up, my dad and I used to call them Hungry Craps because we thought it was the worst food imaginable. Actually, story time, guys. Oh my God. So this is not a lie. This is not embellished. This isn't elaborate, like an elaborate ruse. This actually happened to me. So I go to Hungry Jerks with my family one day, I'm like seven years old, I think. We get a box of chips. Uh, it's like a kid's meal. It's nuggets and chips. I open it. I shit you not, no lie. There was a deep fried lizard nah. in my food box. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> Literally, we have these little lizards. They're everywhere in Australia. Like everywhere you look, they're in your ears, they're in your shoes, they're in your sink. Like they're everywhere. Anyway, there was a deep fried one in my chips and we're driving along and I'm looking out the window and my hand is just mindlessly going into my box of food. And then I feel something and I think that's a bit of a different texture. And I look down. The poor little guy was literally crispy, like upright, like a chip. Like he didn't even flop when I picked him up. He, it was like, like... Hey Alex. <laughs> like this. Do you think his last thought was, it's hot, eh? <laughs> anyway, that put me off wanting to have Hungry Jacks, basically for the rest of my life. But I see they've changed their chip recipe now. The lizard threw itself into the deep fryer on its own volition. Mind you, it's usually pretty hot in Australia. Do you think it even noticed the difference? Nah, you thought it was going in to cool off <laughs> and it turned into lunch. So uh, I've got my bills on. Sam's got his Hungry Jacks. We're happy. Well, we're heading to store number three. Ten. Why do these creepy dolls keep following us everywhere? What about this cursed skiing moose? Cursed skiing moose? Oh, he's just trying his best. Brings your family five years bad luck. <laughs> <gasps> Look! Oh, little mushrooms! Oh, what are these? Oh, these are so heavy. What the hell? What are these? Why are they so heavy? Feel the, feel the weight of that. Oh yeah, these are um, their weights for like healing balloons. Oh, right. That looks like that would make the tree fall over. You don't throw them at friends. <laughs> Alright, last stop of the day. We're going to give Lifeline a try, see if they've got any Christmas decorations in here. So we've tried four stores now. We've got a little selection of things. Uh, obviously not enough to decorate the whole house, but it's think, a start. Yeah, it's a start. Like you don't have to buy everything in one day. Don't set up for a shopping trip on a day and then feel like you failed because you can find everything you wanted. There's always more days. I know it's 2020 and sometimes it feels like each day is the last, but there are more days to go find Christmas decorations. So we'll do that uh, on another day. We're gonna head home and just set up what we bought now. So this was eight dollars. I've never seen so many bells in my life. As we were driving, I could hear this in the boot. It was so loud. I'm gonna put this on the front door. Who needs a security alarm when you have jingle bells? Jingle birds, jingle birds, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to scream at Uncle Sam all day. Hey, I couldn't resist. This is a pastel pink mushroom. So it's like pearlescent on the top and glittery and white on the stalk. This little guy was only $2. How could I resist? I got a little swan 
for the tree. He was only a dollar. I think him and Archie are going to be the best of friends. You want a kiss? This is so beautiful. I think it's made of porcelain, actually. It's not made of plastic. I'm pretty sure it's made of porcelain. Forgive me. I know they're blue and not green, but we're not having a traditional red and green Christmas. We already have a red and green Christmas bird. Look, red and green. This was $5 and it's full to the brim of baubles. They are shiny and matte. This was $4. These ones are all gold and there's glittery ones, matte ones, geometric patterned ones. Bless you. These are going to look really, really nice all combined on the tree. This is a little string of Santas with pegs on it. So I'm guessing it's for all of your Christmas cards when they arrive. This is how long it is. So I'm gonna string this up somewhere in the background and put all of my Christmas cards all over it. All right, so I got this. This was $2. There's six in here. Oh my God, this, this is insanely beautiful. So this whole thing is made of glass and it's got a little glass Christmas tree on the inside. The little Christmas tree has baubles on it too. There's even a little star on top of the tree. It's all glittery and gold on the outside. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to hang from the tree, but it does have a flat base on it. So I'm sure you could also sit it somewhere too. We have more pink in the form of these boxes. So each one of these boxes was $4 and there's six pink baubles inside. This says, in the middle ages, Venetian traders brought the 4,000 year old art of mouth blowing delicate art glass to the Northern village of Lausche, L-A-U-S-C-H-A. Lausche, Germany. The Krebs family has kept the fine art of creating original glass ornaments alive for 55 years in Germany and for 30 years in the USA. A family owned company for four generations, the Krebs family and company have established themselves as the leader in the glass ornament industry. Krebs has grown to be a total glass company, offering glass treasures from around the world and creating Christmas memories for generations to come. And then it also says it in German, which I will kindly attempt to read. Im Metallata Brachten, Venetianch. Kaflute die 4000 Jare alte Kunst des Glasblanes in die Kleinstaub Lausche in Fer Thurigen. Meisterhafte Künstler schufen Wunderschön, Dekoren Schanschen, aus Glasern Wunzimmer und Weichgeneuschke zu schmücken. Die Klebs Family sets die Tradition sets über 55 Jare in Deutschland und in. I also got two of these iridescent cherubs. These were 50 cents each. I would forgive you for thinking that they were my horcruxes. Uh, unfortunately, they are not. Oh my God, this little guy was too cute. And I'm gutted because the lady at the checkout said to me that five minutes before I bought this, a lady bought a matching one, which was a cockatoo. So uh, this is a kangaroo sitting in a boot. This is the most Australian Christmas decoration I've ever seen and I'm obsessed. He's adorable. And the last thing I got today decorations wise was some tinsel. Look, I see. Oh my gosh, this, hang on a second. Oh, it's a circle. Well, this, this isn't what I thought it was gonna be. What do I do with this? What am I meant to do with this? Do I hang it on something? No, do I, maybe does it go on the tree like this? Now that we've had a look at everything I bought today, I'll bring out the Christmas tree and we'll start setting things up. All right, let's put on some royalty free Christmas carols. Pour ourselves some wine and have a jolly good Christmas. Cheers. and we're done with the Christmas tree. What do you think? Do you like it? I think it's beautiful and spectacular. I think it's a perfect color scheme. Sam said it had too many baubles on it, but I say nay, you can never have too many balls. So I think that uh, what I need next is to find a star for the top of the tree because I don't have one. It would also be- You can be... put me on it. You are a star. <laughs> it would also be nice if I found some uh, tinsel that matches in, if I could find gold tinsel or pink or blue tinsel, that would be ideal. But tell me what you think about the tree down below yeah. and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Five minutes later. There was a terrible accident. What happened? It, it fell over. This is why you shouldn't buy trees from Wish, guys. This is a Wish Christmas tree and I, I wish... I wish this hadn't happened. I wish this hadn't happened.
All right, so Caitlin and I went out to the Salvos at Tempe, which people have been telling me to go to for ages. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I've just been told it's like the biggest one imaginable. And it was, it was huge. And when I walked in the front door, they were just baubles galore. So um, I had a fair bit better luck today than what I had yesterday. I've come away with some pretty cool things and there were some decorations that I had really wanted. I wanted these enormous flowers for my tree and lo and behold, I found them there. So I guess the manifestation is still working. It's still going strong. I haven't used up all three of my genie wishes yet. Let's just have a quick look and then uh, we're gonna have to redo the tree because as you saw, there was tragedy. Actually, the tree fell apart because it turned out I hadn't put the bottom piece on. You know how it was quite short? I had used the top and apparently the middle, which I thought was the bottom. I thought the tree had two pieces. Alas, it had three. I forgot that piece, it was in the garage. So uh, the middle piece that was actually sitting on the bottom wasn't sitting in the base plate well enough, so the whole tree fell over. So now Caitlin's just uh, fluffing up the large piece at the bottom. We have taken all the decorations back off again, which is okay because all these new things that I bought are gonna be added to it as well. The vibe that I want is just the most crowded, cluttered Christmas tree you've ever seen, and I want it to be super sparkly. So I got these, these are just tea lights. They're just star-shaped tea lights and they were a dollar per box. They had so many boxes of these. I suppose some company probably donated them. Unfortunately, I don't have a fireplace, but if I did, I would probably sit this on the mantle of the fireplace. I'm gonna have to find some other spot for it. I think I'll probably sit it on one of my wardrobe so that it's in the background of my videos when I'm filming the clothing videos. Got some more tinsel. Now obviously yesterday I got red and green tinsel and now I've got some gold so this is probably all going to decorate my staircase. I found this piece of clothing. This was two dollars. Now the funny thing is this is a Christmas sweater but short-sleeved so kind of appropriate for the Australian summer Christmas that we have here that gets up to 40 degrees or 104 Fahrenheit. Uh, this is mildly appropriate because it doesn't have long sleeves, but it's also the thickest, fluffiest, wooliest material you've ever felt in your life, so I would still roast alive. But what I'm wearing here, I forgot to show you this yesterday. I did buy this yesterday at the Castle Hill Vinnies. <laughs> this t-shirt, it's a Sons of Santa. It's like Sons of Anarchy, really. And uh, I'm wearing it right now with my favorite flared velvet bell-bottom pants, so I feel very like rock and roll right now. Avenge Sevenfold Christmas Carols for me. I've also got this one, which I would put on if it wasn't scorching hot right now. So I don't know, I think this might actually be a dress, come to think of it. Yes, it's a dress. So for $2, I got a beautiful Christmas dress. Not too bad. I found these three little tea light holders. So these need to be cleaned up. They're really quite dirty. I feel like someone's probably had them at their house for a very long time. The metal is really, really tarnished, but that's nothing that Sam can't fix. These were $1 each and I got three of them. So this is the sort of thing that I'll be able to put these on the center of my table when we're having Christmas lunch with little tea lights burning in them. Actually, I wonder, will the star fit inside? No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, no, you know what? That, that's fine. It's just made of wax, come to think of it. I can, it is within my power to slice a little bit off the edge of this. I will make it fit. Okay, so this was $5. This almost to me looks like it was potentially supposed to be like a snow globe with water inside because it has all these teeny tiny little balls inside that go down like this. When you tip it, it doesn't have that snow effect. It, it just kind of flops from one side to the other. So I'm not sure if at one point this had water in it or if you're supposed to put water in it yourself or maybe it's meant to be a Christmas maraca. Couldn't believe this when I spotted this. This was hidden behind something. This is a little glass Christmas tree with presents at the base of it. This was $6 and you might, if you have a keen eye, recognize it as being nearly identical to this little thing that I got yesterday. See, the Christmas trees are almost exactly the same. So as soon as I spotted this one today, I knew I had to get it because they're gonna look so lovely sitting together. This is not Christmas related, but when I walked past it at the store, I couldn't pass it up. So at first I thought it was glass and then when I walked up to it and touched it, it's actually just a very thick plastic. It's very aged. The plastic has kind of gone a little bit yellow but what's interesting is when you open it it says Paris on the inside and it's got the Eiffel Tower but then it also has the symbol for yen and it has the symbol for something else which I don't know but uh, I just really liked the way that the light shone through this and I thought what I could do is put you know my really precious super precious glass baubles that I got the other day I could put them in this instead of hanging them on the tree because guys. So if you watched Christmas Day 8, I filmed that video around the same time that I was doing this tree with Sam. 
So I left those baubles wrapped up in the newspaper and I thought, well, I bought them on the day that I visited the 10 stores. So I won't unbox them in the Christmas decorations video. I'll unbox them as part of that haul. Just, you know, I'm trying to do things chronologically here. So luckily I did that because when the Christmas tree fell over, I would have lost every single one of those balls. Every last, all of them, all of the beautiful glass balls that were like the most beautiful things I've seen in my entire life, they all would have shattered on the ground if I had unboxed them on camera in this video. I'm so lucky that I left them for the other video. God, I was just looking at them today like, we came so close guys, I came so close to losing you. That's why when I saw this thing, I was like, you know what, why don't I just get this and I can put those beautiful balls stacked up in this and just sit them somewhere because I, I'm too scared now to actually hang them on a tree because what if Archie flies over and smashes one of them or something? I think they just need to sit on a shelf somewhere. This little thing was just two dollars, which th this is awesome. I'm so happy with this for two bucks. That's great. This will be excellent for keeping those baubles. This is not Christmas related, but it is one of my Horcruxes. This was a $15 iridescent vase. Now this is made in Japan. It's got Japan written on the bottom. And uh, what are you laughing at? Some of your Horcruxes. Yes, it, you said that was such beautiful ease and I believe you looking at that. <laughs> yes, doesn't it look like a Horcrux? Look how cursed it is. But it's specifically yours, because look how pearlescent it is. That's right, I have, I have five other Horcruxes downstairs that are all pearlescent. This is number six now. So this is another Horcrux. This is just, isn't it beautiful? No idea what I'm going to use it for, or what I'm going to put in it, or any, well, obviously it's a vase for flowers, but the, the image is just cursed. Like this is cursed. I, I want to paint over the top of it with something because I don't like that but actually if I just turn it around and sit it on a shelf facing this way where you can't see the cursed image it looks very nice and it's gloriously pearlescent. I got two of these. These were $12 each and they are just these super 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 long strings essentially of baubles and pine cones and I figured instead of having tinsel on my tree I can use this to wrap all the way around like a swirl and uh, I essentially want it to be like a swirl like this and then all of the pink and blue around it. So a swirl of gold in the middle. And uh, yeah, I got two of them because I wasn't sure whether it would be enough length, but they've got really cute, fine, intricate details on them. Uh, it's also brand new because the tag here, this is the tag from the original store and it says that it was $24. So the Salvo sold it for half its original price. I'll just take this out of the plastic somehow. Caitlin, can you help? Oh, cool. Okay, okay, so far, so okay. It's like a snake skin. Ooh, actually. A Christmas snake shedding its skin. Uh, oh my god! It's really nice. Oh, okay. This isn't what I thought it was. I thought that it was a straight line. I didn't realize that it had dangly. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, this is nice. It's actually, it's very, very nice. $12 per strand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good. I feel it, the amount of work that's into this, it's actually. Yes. Yeah, you could buy this from like. A, a proper store store, this would be way more expensive. Do you think? I reckon so. Because something that I was thinking while we were shopping, some of the things that I was picking up, I was like, this is no cheaper than what you would pay anywhere else. But obviously, the it's not so much about the money for me. Like, I'm not looking to get things cheaper. I'm not looking for a bargain. I'm just looking for beautiful things and I'd like to spend my money somewhere that it's going to charity. So yes, I could go to a store and probably pick something up for a similar price brand new. But these things, this is brand new, and knowing that the money is going to a good cause makes me feel better than at Christmas time spending it just at a large shopping centre, you know. And additionally, you're not like adding to the amount of like Christmas decoration waste that gets made every single year. That's true. Like, That's very true. So much merchandise that it gets bought, yeah, but a lot of it doesn't, and then that. It's not going to salvos or anywhere, it's probably just getting thrown out. Yeah. All right, cute. Yeah. These are very nice. Really, really happy. Oh, look at the sun. In the sun. <gasps> oh my god! Wow. Wow! This is pretty. Beautiful. Stunning! This is brand new with tags, and to tie in with what I was literally just saying, there is a tag on the inside here from the store that it originally came from that says $4.50. How much did the salvos charge me? $4. So, um. Bargain! I love it! Yeah, look, to me, the Salvos at Tempe was most certainly not the sort of place that you go for things. You, if you're looking to get something cheaper than what you would get at brand new, you're probably not really going to save that much money. But like I said, the, the money is going to charity. So that's that's the main thing. I don't actually, what, what do I do with these? What is the purpose of these big, long, like, 
Do you I think just they go into vases? You put them in vases. But yeah. really big vases. I know someone that has some of those. <laughs> so I found these beautiful glittery flowers. So these are supposed to sit on the tree. Unfortunately, I searched the whole store high and low and there was only one gold one. There was a bunch of blue, there was heaps that were green, there was a lot that were like a dark bronzy colour. Only one gold one, which is heartbreaking for me because I basically wanted to cover the tree in gold flowers. But I got a heap of these and I got them in all different sizes too. So this is the largest size. These big ones were $5 each. Some of them were brand new wrapped in plastic. So I'm guessing that these came from a store, like some store donated excess Christmas stock. This size was $2 each and I got three of these. And there's also one size smaller again. These were also $2 each. I got a couple of these as well. There was only one of this slightly darker blue. This one was $2. And now that I'm home, I really regret not buying more of this style because they had heaps of these. These were, again, $2 each. It's just like a long strand and you fold these out and they're butterflies. I, I thought, oh yeah, I'll get one. I'll stick one in the tree. But now that Caitlin's reminded me, you can also put these in vases. I really regret not getting more of them because I could have stuck a bunch of these in all the various vases that I have. I also found this beautiful sparkly leaf. You probably can't see it sparkling right now, but if I put it in the sun, doesn't it look glorious? I hope that you can see all that sparkle. These things all look absolutely incredible in the sun. They just look so beautiful. This is exactly what I wanted. I can't believe I found them at a thrift store. They're perfect. I'm really happy that I found these. These are for hanging up the wreaths. So you guys remember I got that wreath yesterday and I had no way of attaching it to my front door because I didn't want to put a nail in my front door. So they had these, these were $2 each. I got one in silver and one in gold. So as much as I love my wreath, I don't love the color scheme. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is a bit of a DIY. I think I'm going to spray paint the bells gold and I'm gonna remove the current ribbon that's on it and replace it with pink, blue, and gold ribbon. So I'm gonna do that in another episode because I feel like we've done enough today. I'm gonna to do it in my next pastel flip episode that's coming up probably next week. But uh, for now, at least you can see what it looks like hanging on this thing. This is what it'll look like hanging on the front door. All right, guys, so that's everything that I bought today. So it actually came to $126.50 for all of that. And I'll tell you a funny story. So basically the girl that was ringing it up on the checkout, she made a mistake. She just rang it in as $5. It was $126.50 and she must have bumped the wrong button and it went through as $5. I just sort of, you know, pay pass or you just tap your card. So I immediately just out of instinct reached down and tapped my card. But as I was going down to tap it, I noticed that it only said $5. And then I tapped it and I was looking at it and I was thinking to myself, didn't that just say $5? And then she was like, okay, thank you, next. And I was like, hang on, sorry, you undercharged me and she was like what we almost almost got all of this for five dollars by accident so uh yes twenty one hundred and twenty six dollars so now let's add it all on the tree okay guys that's it we are all done i'm so ridiculously happy with how this looks i have never seen this tree look better. I've had this tree for a little while. You would never believe that I got all of these things secondhand. These are all from thrift stores. A lot of them are brand new items that were at the thrift stores that companies must have donated, like excess stock, like these flowers, they were all brand new. So many of these baubles were brand new. I think it looks glorious. I feel like that's the, the trick to having a really nice Christmas tree is to pick a color scheme and stick with it. So I said to myself, the color scheme was blue, gold, and pink. And that was what I did. Look, I went to all the different thrift stores looking for blue, gold, and pink, and I didn't compromise. And if you can't find things that are your color scheme, you can always spray paint them. But luckily I didn't have to do that for any of these because everywhere I went, I basically found the right colors. So let me know down below what your favorite decoration is. I could not be happier. I do think that I'm gonna still keep adding to this because uh, it's not quite as full as I want yet. I want it to be uh, essentially at the point where you can't actually tell what color the tree is because it's all just decorations. <laughs> so uh, with that, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and let me know down below which piece that you like the most. I think I like these flowers the most. I think that these are definitely my favorite. They're just stunning and beautiful. And I'm so sad that there weren't more gold ones, but that's okay because all these things here, these make up for 
the lack of gold flowers. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.